And now we've got to talk about Candace Owens, who's just been censored by YouTube in pretty dramatic fashion. So if you guys have followed my content for some time, you'll know that I'm actually not a big fan of Candace Owens, and I've criticized her a lot over the years. I disagree with her takes on gay people. I disagree with a lot of her rhetoric about Jewish people, and I do find some of it to be anti-Semitic. But I am a believer in free speech and open debate, so I am concerned to see that she's being heavily censored by YouTube. Candace posted on X earlier this week, there'll be no show today or at all this week. And that's because YouTube has issued me a strike and a one week suspension for my sit down with Kanye. Uh, they also removed the interview as hate speech as it was mass reported by Zionists. Their tactics never change. And Candace shared a screenshot from YouTube that says the video Kanye West yay cross Candace Owens has been removed from the Candace Owens YouTube channel because it violates our hate speech policies. YouTube does not allow content containing conspiratorial claims that individuals or groups are evil, corrupt or malicious based on their protected group status. Specifically, the video in question contains claims that Jewish people control the media. So Candace has explained on her show that Part of what's happening here is that there's been a coordinated campaign by people who disagree or really hate or strongly object with her criticisms of Israel and her commentary that some people consider anti-Semitic to try to get her stuff taken down and censored. So let's look at that video where she goes over that. And so you're not going to believe this. They This account called Awesome Jew started saying to people, let's start mass reporting her YouTube channel. And he said this after I dropped my Tristan Tate interview. And he showed a step-by-step -step guide of how to fake report my account. Here it is. You can report, even write a link. You can report her YouTube channel here. Because now they're like, okay, well, well, we can't get rid of her. Look at this. This is incredible. But you go down and hit hate speech against a protected group. Do this to the Tristan Tate episode and we'll get it taken down. We're just going to start mass reporting her so that people can no longer listen to her show. These disturbing tactics are apparently working because YouTube did just take down her episode with Kanye West, or aka Ye, and actually banned her from posting for a full week. I don't support this, and I don't like this impulse of trying to get someone taken down or censored because you disagree with them. I've had many disagreements with Candace Owens over the years. I've critiqued her bad ideas on many an occasion, and I do that by playing her commentary, reacting to it, explaining why I think it's wrong, why it's bad or even ignorant or hateful, and then disagreeing with her and challenging her in the marketplace of ideas. But these kinds of coordinated campaigns to try to shut down somebody because you don't like what they're saying, it represents an illiberal impulse that I'm just not going to be on board with. And it also, I think, represents an in incapability or an unwillingness to defend your ideas openly and have debates and, and you're in a lack of confidence that you'll be able to win them. And I really don't like that or respect that. Now, YouTube is a private company that can take down Candace Owens' videos if they want. It's their legal right to do so. They can delete her whole channel if they want. And it's their platform. So ultimately, they do have the ability to do that. But I strongly do object to this decision that they're making just because I do believe in that open atmosphere of debate and criticism, and also because there's a huge consistency and fairness issue here. I listened to the interview with Ye, aka Kanye West, and he says some absolutely crazy stuff. And he does go on some rants about the Jews controlling the media and other stuff that I think is vastly overstated and, yes, anti-Semitic. Kanye has gone anti-Semitic. There's no doubt of that in my mind. But if we're being honest, Interviewing Kanye West is still an incredibly noteworthy figure, and I strongly believe that media accounts and personalities and journalists and commentators should be able to interview people, even freaking ISIS members or the Taliban or something like that, and air those ideas to the public because what those people think and believe is newsworthy and it is important and that shouldn't be taken down just because things are offensive or might hurt someone's feelings. I strongly reject that. I really don't think the American people or Jews or anybody else are so thin skinned that they need to be shielded from people saying upsetting and hateful things because even shutting that down, even censoring that doesn't make those ideas go away. They still exist. They're still out there. They're still spreading. Someone like Kanye is still massively influential and just shutting them down 
doesn't make that go away. And if, if, if anything, it actually plays into their conspiracy theories and affirms their beliefs and makes them look right, even when they're really not. Oh, look, see, we told you they're going to take this down because they don't like the dangerous truths we're telling. Actually, let them say their piece and then fact check it and debunk it and point out where it's wrong. But when you play into this narrative that, oh, they won't let us speak because we're dangerous truth tellers, you're actually making them, you're locking in their base even harder and confirming their biases. And then again, like I mentioned, there's a huge consistency problem here because YouTube is saying, well, we took this down because you're not allowed to demonize groups of people or spread conspiracy theories about groups of people. Well, that's news to most of woke YouTube because I could go and I could find you video after video with countless views from super popular users demonizing all men, drawing conclusions about all men, casting aspersions about all men being violent, predators, all men are guilty, it is all men, all this stuff. You're allowed to denigrate some groups. I could find you the same thing from anti-racist woke types talking about white people saying the most insane things. And to be clear, I don't want those people censored either, but I do want consistency and fairness. And that's not something you see in YouTube or many of the other tech giants is enforcement of their standards and their guidelines and these other kinds of things. What you often see is vastly uneven and unequal enforcement, which is really unfair and problematic. It also doesn't make sense because I do think that Ye is anti-Semitic and a lot of what he said in this interview is, is conspiratorial, but there's lots of hateful stuff all over YouTube. I could go find you massively popular videos that are deeply homophobic, besmirching all gay people, smearing all gay people. There's videos out there saying horrific things about me that YouTube wouldn't take down and maybe shouldn't take down. I don't know, but there's just this insane degree of inconsistency that in this case, Candace Owens and, and Ye have to be silenced, but so many other people are allowed to violate these policies and it's never enforced. And so many other groups are allowed to be demonized. I, I just don't get that double standard. And I think it really should be all or nothing. I'd prefer to just have an open atmosphere, and let all the voices be heard. But if you're going to enforce standards, at least do so evenly. At least don't just do so when a lot of people complain about a certain person, because then you, then you really are empowering Twitter mobs and online outrage mobs. And that's not who we want determining the bounds of discourse. I really, I, I have no love lost for Candace Owens. I don't think a whole lot of her as a thinker or an analyst. But I don't support shutting people down just because some of the things they say offend people or upset people. I support open debate and discourse. And I'm not happy to see Candace Owens getting censored like this by YouTube. I'm really not. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Uh,